You're watching the Common Constitutionalist Video Podcast. Yeah, baby! Yeah. Hi ho, good neighbors. This is Brent Smith. I'm the Common Constitutionalist. Welcome once again to the Common Constitutionalist Weekend Video Podcast. Today I'm going to be talking about, look, global warming. Oh boy. Um, climate change, whatever. So the, uh, the podcast is entitled, No More Global Warming, Coming to a Stratosphere Near You. That's what I'll be discussing right after this. Be right back. Welcome back. So, Bill Gates. Everybody loves Bill Gates. He said facetiously. I don't know. Whatever. I don't have. A, I never had an issue with Bill Gates until recently. I guess. Maybe that's the way a lot of conservatives. I just never really thought of the guy. He's just a computer guy. You know, it's the same as the uh, the Apple guy was the phone guy, the computer guy, and whatever. Now they've all gone woke on us, basically. But this hasn't gotten a little, a lot of press, as far as I know, anyway. And again, it's about Bill Gates. And uh, no, it's not concerning vaccines, and it's not concerning the control of population growth. Gates, like other insane, insanely wealthy people, uh, like multi, multi, multi billionaires, is bored. And so he or they, a number of these billionaires and whatnot, like we all do, feel like they, he needs a purpose. They need a purpose. I'm just talking about Bill Gates in this particular case. So his purpose is saving the planet, okay, either by vaccination of people or, of course, global warming, climate change. And like other mega billionaires, he does seem to strike me as having a bit of a God complex. Just saying, okay. And the the purpose of the, the the global warming nonsense, and I guess the vaccine thing, is they need to save the the planet from us, the little people, okay. Uh, they need to save the planet despite all of us, the little people. And now, for you millionaires and multimillionaires, you too, as far as these mega billionaires are concerned, are also. The little people. So don't you don't you're not you can't count yourself out just because you're a multi-millionaire. That's diddly squat. When you go up, when you get up into 10, 20, 50, 100 billion dollars, then you're worthy. Okay. Before that, you're just the little people, and the planet has to be saved despite all of us. All right. If you can, if you have the money and the clout to be involved in the World Economic Forum, there you go. If you don't, you're the little people. Okay, that's just a general rule. So, Gates has teamed up with Harvard University, our favorite leftist, radical, woke university, um, to save the climate, climate change, global warming, whatever. Now, the question I've always had is, if the if the we we there's never a scare. There hasn't been a scare about global cooling for a long time. So if it's always global warming, why did they feel the need to change the name from global warming to climate change? I mean, it's still interchangeable according to them. But why did they feel the need to change it from climate from global warming to climate change? Just asking. Okay, seems like a reasonable question, well, of which I've never gotten a reasonable answer. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's his plan. Um, <laughs> the Gates plan. I love it. The plan is to release these reflective particles into the atmosphere, into the stratosphere, to reflect sunlight back away from Earth and cool the planet. That's the big freaking plan. A brilliant, absolutely freaking brilliant. Quote, 
the idea is simple. Spray, <laughs> spray a bunch of particles into the stratosphere and they will cool the planet by reflecting some of the sun's rays back into space, unquote. Nature's Jeff Tolison wrote in 2018. So that's the, that's the Gates plan, is to spray the atmosphere with a bunch of reflective particles of what I don't know whether they've been determined yet. Um, and, uh, and then it will reflect the sunlight back out and then it will cool the planet. And with all the giant brains and all the money in the world, and the, you know, like the Brainiacs at Harvard and, and I'm sure other institutes of higher learning. This is, what, this is what they came up with. Spray some crap in the air and it'll reflect the sun so the planet will cool. That's what they came up with. It sounds funny, but this has been done. Actually, this, the opposite has actually been um, proposed before. That's how ridiculous this plan is. Back in the 1970s, there was a, the, the next ice age was going to be upon us, okay? 70s, that was what, 50 years ago or whatever the crap it was, uh, 40, 40 to 50 years ago. That's it. I mean, it's, it just, it's, a, it's less than a blink of an eye geologically. So back in the 1970s, the ice age was coming. We were going to have the ice age, and the big brainiac plan back then was to uh, sprinkle uh, black like coal dust or some carbon dust or something like that on the ice caps. So when the sun hits the ice caps and it's black, it'll absorb more heat and so it'll warm the planet. So I don't know whether they, I don't think they actually ended up doing that, but that's no more ridiculous than spraying a bunch of reflective particles in the air into the stratosphere and it reflects the sun back so it'll cool the planet. Now I'm no scientist, but if it reflects the sunlight, the heat back out to outer space, the heat that rises, would that not like create a blanket and reflect whatever, whatever heat is left on Earth back to Earth? I'm just asking. I don't know. Maybe it's the one-way mirror type of thing where you can see through one way and you can't see through the other. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm just a dope, dude. I, I'm not, a, I'm not a scientist, nor do I play one on this podcast or any other. Okay, so again, the '70s idea, absolutely brilliant. Gates' idea, equally brilliant, just pathetic. So if you're saying to yourself, self, is this as dumb as it sounds, or inconspicuously brilliant? It's not brilliant. It's not the latter. It's the former. It's as dumb as it actually sounds. And like I said, the fact that a multi-billionaire or many multi-billionaires who will probably sign on to this project work with the preeminent worldwide preeminent university, Harvard University, and this is the dumb crap that they come up with um, to cool the planet. It's just, it's, it's, it's the I don't know. It's just, it's so dumb, it's laughable. Except for they may, I think this June of 21, they're going to try this. They're going to have an experiment over, I can't remember where the crap it is, um, maybe up by Greenland or, or something like that. And I don't know whether they're just going to do some monitoring or whether they're actually going to release some particles and see how they react and whatever. But this is, a, this is an absolute, it's a disaster because they have no idea what they're doing, okay? And I thought that, that um, isn't climate change man-caused? Isn't that what we've heard since the beginning of this nonsensical Al Gore-type global warming hysteria, is that man is causing global warming? Well, if man's causing global warming, what's the sun have to do with it? Okay, you're trying to reflect sunlight back because it warms the planet. You're just, you've just tacitly admitted that the man-caused global warming is of little effect relative to the sun. Did you not? I mean, this, the whole thing is so utterly stupid that, it, like I said, it would be laughable if it wasn't so direly serious. Oh, speaking of which, I'll end on this note. Before Trump left office, 
I have to put premium gas in my vehicle, okay? It's the way it goes. It's my cross to bear, I reckon, right? Anyway, so before Trump left office, I was paying well under $3 a gallon for premium gas. At times, I could find it for less than $2.60 a gallon, maybe $2.40, $2.50 a gallon at times. Um, now, I just want to fill up today, which is Saturday, uh, the 27th of February. It's $3.20 a gallon within the space of a month and a half or whatever the crap it's been. That's it. It went from two, maybe 240 to 270 to 320 a gallon. And it's, it ain't going down anytime soon. So all you people who voted for these leftist radicals, to, for Lunchbox Joe and Kamala Harris, actually Kamala Harris because I don't care, she's a whatever, I'll keep my tongue civil, you have wrought this. So congratulations, already we're seeing the nonsense of the green agenda, the XL pipeline. Well, what's the XL pipeline? It's not even done. It's the, it's the reaction, the emotional reaction of the market, okay? The oil, the energy market to what's going to be happening, what's going to be happening shortly down the road in the Biden agenda. So congratulations, all you jackweed leftists. You vote for higher gas prices. When it gets to four and five bucks a gallon, I don't want to hear any leftists complaining about gas prices. Okay? You suck it up like the rest of us and somehow get it done. Other than that, I ain't got nothing to say. My name is Brent Smith. I am the Common Constitutionalist. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to do something else. Share. I like to share. Share. Sharing is good. So don't forget to share. That's all I've got. See you. Yeah.